Wow, I look rough. Thank you, Link. Cover my face, make me look better. All right, that's not much better, but that's as good as you're gonna get because I'm about to go on an airplane and I'm just not gonna look any better for an airplane. I'm going to Lollapalooza this weekend. I actually leave in like an hour. Well, I have to go to the airport in an hour. So I'm packing right now and I thought I need to post tomorrow and it has been such a busy week. Haven't had the chance to film anything else. So sorry if you guys didn't want a Q&A, but I also feel like it's good to have Q&As because it's a way to catch up with you guys. The last Q&A I had was in April and a lot has changed. So hopefully you guys will ask about it. All good stuff. Wow, there's actually a lot. That was quick. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> What's one fashion trend you wish would die? Bucket hats. I just, I don't like low rise pants. Do you keep your chocolate in the fridge or the cupboard? Uh, I actually keep it in the freezer. What is your usual coffee order? Probably an iced Americano. You look pretty. Wait until you watch this video. <laughs> What's Brack and Bruh how you live in? Um, I'm living great. I'm happy. I'm busy, but good busy. There's this guy that I really like and he keeps ghosting me. I don't know what to do. Please help. If they want to make time to see you they will and if they don't then it's just not your time right now and you never want to force anything so as much as it might hurt I think what you should do right now is stay quiet stay back don't keep reaching out and if he reaches out then great but if not then I think you kind of dodged a bullet to be honest tricky question favorite flavor dip branch for sure. Favorite face product, Netflix recommendations, and book recommendations. I actually just went to Sephora today and got my favorite face product because I ran out. Drunk Elephant, C Firma, Vitamin C Serum. It is everything. It has helped my skin so much. I used to struggle with like really bad texture and this was the one thing that just really helped. Uh, just nutrition, neutral nutrition make my skin healthy it like gave my skin vitamins there's a word for that like a version of nutritional netflix recommendations scott and i started money heist that's really good book recommendations i would say the amy polar uh autobiography that autobiography is when you write it about yourself right yeah i think so but the, amy polar's book great book what is your favorite candle scent fresh linen. Something you want to do when you're older. I really want to shop and dance. Favorite song of Scott's. Nobody's heard it yet, but you guys will hear it soon. It's called Smile. Great song. Okay, I'm going to answer this one just because I think it's like a really common question and I, I see it in a lot of comments on my pictures too. <coughs> How is the reality house going? It was all like already filmed. I don't know. Like someone commented on my picture and was like, dang, looks like she's out of the house. Technically everybody's out of the house right now. If that clears things up. What are your wallpapers on your phone? Your, like your lock screen and your home screen. This is my home screen, my lock screen. <laughs> I think I'm done packing, but I'll push it to the side. I'll finish some more questions, but then I need to get ready to go. Staples in your diet slash things you have to buy at the grocery store. Broccoli and garlic. Those are like my two favorite things. I can literally, I probably have it in my teeth right now because I just ate some. But, oh, I for sure do. What was it really like filming in the reality house thing for K&J? It was one of the coolest things I've ever done. They are such cool people and everybody in that house was just really cool and it was it was just such a good vibe and such a cool experience. Take a shot for how many times I say cool. Why aren't you verified? I think it's because I don't have enough press about me. I think you have to have like X amount of articles of press just about you to like get verified and I guess I just don't have enough, but. It's okay. Are you coming to Australia with Scotty? Yes, I am. We're both featured creators. We will be there and I think we're I think we might have a meet and greet together. I'm not I'd have to look but I just like just got the details but yeah, we'll be there. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't believe it's already been a year since last VidCon Australia that like time's going by too quick. Favorite song at the moment? 100% July by Noah Cyrus. So good. And the video is so, so aesthetic. Ooh, how do I handle my first breakup? Feel it. Just let, like, it sucks and this is probably what you don't want to hear, but just sit and feel it and cry and journal and really try and observe and understand what you're feeling and talk to people. And the reason I say that, like the reason I'm saying, just like really get into it and feel it is because your first heartbreak really, really builds your skin for like, like your like love thick skin, if that makes sense. Like your, your um, tolerance to heartbreak, 
I guess, for like the rest of your life. I don't know, like my first heartbreak was fucking terrible. My mom was so like, it's heartbreak, dude. You gotta go through it, blah, blah, blah. Like she was so just like, this is life that it kind of like forced me to accept it and then learn from it rather than like do like, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but like I I don't believe in necessarily running to like coping mechanisms. Like I understand like if you're going through a heartbreak or if your friend's going through a heartbreak, you want to like pull them out of the house and like go to a party or whatever and that's fine. But like if you do that every single night, you're kind of just brushing those emotions under the rug. And I feel like getting over anything, any type of loss or just any type of emotional trauma, like one of the first steps is actually just accepting that you're feeling down and being okay with it and understanding it's normal. I don't know where this thought is going, but I hope it helped. It sounds so cliche, but time heals all. Trust me. Do you like Lana Del Rey? Unpopular opinion, but I don't. Are you still dating Scott? I think so. Yeah. Ooh, what's your favorite fashion decade? Uh, late 80s, early 90s, because it's a little bit of inspiration from both of those decades. It's 9.30, Scott needs to get in here and shower and I need to put on pants. So I hope you enjoyed this video. When you watch this, I will be, or I am, at Lollapalooza. So if you wanna keep up with my weekend, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting all of my outfits. I was gonna do a video where I showed all of my outfits, but I had to do laundry and it just wasn't gonna be done. It wasn't gonna be done in time to like, pack and everything so all right guys i'll see you next thursday bye